Production Budgets by Julie Larson, Week 8. Enterprise budgets are a way of planning and determining what, uh, if any, profit you will be making from one particular crop or livestock. So it's different from a balance sheet or an income statement because there's really no formal structure, although it does incorporate the costs and uh, the revenues, what you'll be making off of your products, and then to determine what your return, what actually you will be uh, taking home. So it's a very good useful planning tool. Uh, doesn't have as much detail as a balance sheet or uh, it's really for determining if you really want to move ahead with a certain production plan. Um, and then if you, uh, you have an enterprise budget for each uh, different uh, thing that's going on in your farm, you put them together and this helps you create one farm plan for your entire enterprise, so for your entire uh, system. So maybe you're doing 100% grass-fed uh, lamb, but you're also, you decided to make some extra income, you're going to do some pastured poultry, uh, so you do an enterprise budget for each of those separately and then put them together and it gives you some idea of uh, maybe, you know, maybe the pastured poultry is not such a great idea. So it, it is just uh, for planning purposes, um, but it can be very, very helpful. So typical of any kind of budget, you're going to have to determine your fixed costs, which are essentially your overhead. So these are what are going to occur regardless of production level. So whether you do 100 chickens or 500 chickens or 3 sheep and uh, or 500 goats, uh, these are the things that will stay the same. So your depreciation, uh, your insurance on the facilities, the taxes you pay, uh, the interest, and then uh, if you are going to do farmers markets, what are the farmers markets fees? Uh, because these will stay the same whether you sell uh, $5 in products or you sell $2,000 in products. Uh, but those things, those booth fees will stay the same. Variable costs are considered your operating costs. So these are the things that are going to uh, change determined by how many animals you do. So the feed, of course, a uh, big difference between if you have five laying hens or you have 250 laying hens. Uh, your processing fees, of course, will be different depending on how many animals you have. Water. Um, you know, you even if you have a well, you still need to pay or think about uh, your electricity costs for your pump. Uh, animal replacement costs, uh, you know, you'll have to, if you lose um, some animals from, <coughs> excuse me, from uh, disease, uh, how much is it going to cost to replace those? your labor, depending on how much labor you have. Um, with the enterprise budgets and what we'll ultimately end up with um, at the end of this unit, labor, because uh, most of these are going to be uh, small farms where the farmer is actually doing all the labor. Um, you can include labor uh, on these enterprise budgets or not. Uh, Number of farmers markets you do, of course, if you have three farmers markets or ten, the fees will be uh, different for each one. One of the very helpful parts of doing an enterprise budget is that it forces you to think about your selling price before um, uh, you get too far along. So. A few things that are really helpful in determining your selling price is that uh, you do some research, uh, see what other farmers, what the your products are being sold for at the farmers markets, online sales, on farm sales, 
and also wholesale. So if you're interested in selling to grocery stores or uh, restaurants, uh, try and find out from them what they're paying for the products that you might be providing them. If you're doing a niche market, uh, sometimes pricing can be very difficult just because there is nobody else out there doing what you're doing and it's hard to put a price on it. Uh, the other thing is when you're determining um, a selling price, you have to of course incorporate your costs and you also have to figure out what percent profit you need in order to continue. You know, if you're just breaking even uh, year after year, uh, very hard to continue on without making some kind of profit. Uh, and certainly if this is your main livelihood, you will need to make a certain amount of money. So all of those have to go into determining your selling price. The first thing you have to do to be, uh, before you can even start laying out your budget is you have to determine what all the costs of your production are. So make a big list of everything you can think of uh, that is going to cost you money. Uh, you can, um, things to think about that maybe you don't are um, costs of electricity, if you have any need for heat lights uh, to warm the young animals, uh, those are quite expensive. Uh, fuel costs, um, getting different places, if you travel a long distance to go to the processor, that's going to be quite expensive. Uh, if you need a generator for the freezers coming back, that's going to take fuel. Um, also, the animals themselves, uh, what are what is it going to take to get them from the start, day one, to the finish processor, and to market. Then you want to determine all your possible revenue streams. Where are the different places that you can sell them? Uh, how much do you think you'll be able to sell them for? Um, put those all down. Then you determine your net return. So first you're going to enter, um, and all of these you are going to put into a spreadsheet, either Excel or a Google Doc. They have a very similar um, spreadsheet there. Um, of course, you could always handwrite it, uh, but it's nice to have it on the computer because you can then make changes as you go along. Very easy to do, and we'll calculate it for you. Um, so it really is just a step-by-step -step process. In the end, then you will have your what you can expect to take home, what you're going to get back from your enterprise. And it will help you decide maybe there are places that you can cut costs or things that maybe you can go without for the first year. Um, maybe you are planning to have some labor costs in there for the neighbor uh, coming over and um, helping you move uh, electric fencing around. Maybe you can do that you know, yourself, figure out a way to do that without um, incurring more costs. Uh, but it gives you a good overview of, of what all your enterprise is going to cost and, um, and what you can expect back from that. And this will help you plan for the future. Very important to do um, uh, before you actually put all your uh, production into place and get going. Um, another thing is uh, you really do want to find your market uh, before you go ahead and start your production. Because if you, you raise all these animals and you're having a hard time selling them for the cost that you have determined you need to get, very hard then to backtrack. And now you're stuck with a lot of product and no place to sell them. So get these ideas and um, especially the money part and the costs figured out first and uh, it will be very beneficial for the rest of your production plan. So here is uh, an example of a very, very simple uh, budget for uh, some uh, 150 Freedom Ranger broilers, meat birds. Uh, so if you start 
Uh, the costs are on the left side. Very simple spreadsheet here done in uh, Google Doc. Um, left side you have a whole listing of all your possible costs uh, and then the revenue is at the bottom which is going to give you the total at the very end. So then we have um, all the costing out. So this was from uh, internet sales, this was the local feed store, this was um, everything it took to start up. So year one are all the startup costs, um, feed costs, fencing, uh, these were pasture raised so uh, they were out on pasture with uh, electric fencing to hold them in uh, and keep predators out. Um, processing fee, uh, you'll see that there's 10 losses that occurred over those, uh, this, uh, they uh, take 10 weeks. Um, so, uh, it's 225 a bird to be processed whole, it's whole processing. Uh, and then um, determined the, the, all those costs in the next one. So costs for year one, then you have revenue, revenue for year one. Uh, the chickens were sold, uh, if we go down a little bit, left-hand column, the chickens were sold, uh, there were 140, they averaged about four pounds a piece whole, and they were sold at five dollars a pound. So this came out to be revenue of $2,800. Startup costs, pretty expensive. Um, so the first year there was a loss of $335.83. Then, if you look at year two, um, the costs for year two were significantly less, eighteen uh, hundred dollars, um, and a, almost all of that is in the feed. So, uh, of course, you had to buy the birds. You have the feed. You have the bedding. The, all the variable costs there, um, but your infrastructure has been in place. Uh, Processing again was the same amount. Uh, you had fuel. Um, you had already bought the um, transportation crates, but you did have to do your broker's license again. So um, then your look at your revenue was the same thing. You did 150 birds, and your Net return then for year two is $981 for those 150 birds in 10 weeks, which pretty good. Um, you know, if you start looking and thinking about your third year, you're probably going to have to begin uh, replacing some of these. Uh, you're probably going to have to get new heat lights or maybe new feed pans. Uh, certainly the electric fencing won't last forever. Um, so that you might begin to have more... Um, uh, infrastructure costs, uh, but this kind of gives you an idea of how you should lay out uh, a very simple budget plan um, uh, to give you some idea of what your costs are going to be, what your potential for making the money. Now if the second year you were going to lose money again, uh, of course you would have to think you need to get cheaper feed someplace. You know, you have to look at those costs that uh, could possibly change, right? Maybe you don't do, um, maybe you try doing 300, because many times doing more can can be uh, much better, especially if you have all your uh, feed pans and you have everything ready to go. Uh, if you could do those 300 in that same space of 150, uh, very possible that you would uh, be starting to make a profit. But this is one way just to have it all on one page, looking it over straight at you, and keep this uh, record of everything. But again, it's not a, it's really not something to take to your accountant or, uh, you know, this is for your own use to do, do do planning, and to be thoughtful about things that you're going to need to purchase and possibly, uh, you know, if you're looking at your revenue. Uh, maybe you need to get those birds up to five pounds before you take them to the processor. Uh, or you try and get six dollars a pound. Again, this is just really a, a planning tool. Um, so this is for the, the poultry and then if you also were doing 
uh, you had another enterprise on the farm, uh, the lamb, or if you were going to do some, some uh, had an orchard, you know, these things can, you would do them for, for each one of those. This is not just for livestock, this would also be for, um, for um, crops as well.